Hello, it's Thursday the 7th of January 2016. Uh, this is just a short one really. I um, I had a dream last night that we were in the end times. I mean, basically what it is, is recently I've been getting too comfortable um, and like planning my future and stuff. And, um, I've you know, I've just applied for a job that, uh, you know, there's a good chance to progress and well, there is that, you know, they were talking about progression and stuff and I could climb the ladder pretty quickly within the first couple of years and, you know, it all seems really good and I was, like, planning ahead and been getting excited about it and all the rest of it um, and just getting, like, comfortable with life, you know, not really thinking about the end days, just, you know, thinking about my plans and stuff. But I had this dream last night and I don't remember the entirety of it, I don't remember the whole thing, but I remember snippets of it and uh, basically it was, I, I felt like the Lord was saying, you know, don't, like... Don't get too comfortable, basically. We are in the end times. You've got to be ready. You know, you've you've got to understand the urgency of this. This this is coming. We are in the end days, you know. And, uh, you know, I woke up and it kind of shocked me back into it. It was like, oh, you know, uh, this this is real. You know, we really are in the end days. We really are. You know, it's, it's not a joke, you know. And so I don't know if I was supposed to share that with you guys or if, I, if it was just for me, you know, to... Uh, keep the urgency of it, the, the readiness of it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we are in the end days. We are in the end times. And uh, well, it's not good. It's pretty scary, really. But as long as we hold on to Jesus, we'll be okay. And, you know, just quickly, there was something uh, years ago. Um, <clears throat> well, actually, no. I want to talk to you about uh, being prepared and being ready, like, you know. I mean... Years ago, like I was just saying, uh, the Lord told me when I was a lot younger, he said to me, um, Danny, you've got to think outside of your box life. And I said, Lord, what does the box life mean? And he said to me, um, your box life is like everything you do in your life, your your friends, your your social social circles, like your work, you know, when you work, relax, go on holiday, you know, all the things that you do in your own life and everything you do in your life, you know, you've got to think outside of the box, like, you know. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, um, because there's a whole world going on outside of yours and my life, you know, there really is. And, um, you know, if you think inside your own life and these, like, these end time things come, you wouldn't be really prepared for it or ready for it. But if you think outside of the box and read the Bible and see the signs and be prepared, then you'll know it's coming, you know. And, uh, you know, so I, I felt I heard the Lord say to me again, like the beginning of 2015, to stockpile food and water. Now, I did originally, but I kind of let that slip, you know, be kind of eating it and stuff. But I, I feel I need to do that again. And uh, well, what it is, is my wife, yeah, you know, I love her to bits, but she doesn't believe we're in the end days. In fact, she 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 sort of believes and sort of doesn't believe, but she's kind of like, oh, it's not going to happen for hundreds of years type thing, you know. And it's very, very difficult as as a Christian. It's very difficult... When I believe absolutely that I'm hearing from the Lord that we are in the end days, that we really are in the end times, and this stuff is really coming like a lot sooner than what people think, um, it's really difficult to be in this situation when your own wife says no, you know. And I, I say to her like, you know, I believe we've got to stop power, food, and water, like you know. She laughs in my face, you know. It's not, it's not a funny situation, like you know. I, I really believe this is God saying this to me, you know. And it says it in Revelation, and there's signs all over the place, you know. And, there are thousands of signs. There were all the blood moons that happened last year. You can't deny that. Do you know what I mean? You know, and there's the Queen and the Pope. You know, this year, you know, it's the 7th of January, 2016. The Queen said, this is our final Christmas, you know. And then, obviously, the BBC editors didn't put out another uh, message as the Queen's speech. But even the Pope Francis said, this could be our final Christmas. That was 2015, so that was only a couple of weeks ago, you know. This is not funny. It's not a joking matter, you know. And still, I present these facts to my wife. I say, look, the Queen said this, the Pope said that. You know, there were all the blood moons last year. The end of the Shemitah year, beginning of Jubilee year. Hebrew calendar says the year 2016 is the year of judgment. You know, it's like, you know, come on, wake up, man. You know, what does it take, you know? Uh, yet, people are too comfortable in their own lives to think outside of the box, you know. It's not that I want the end times to come along. No, nah, man. I'd rather live until I'm an old man and have kids and build a career and stuff like that. But but it is what it is, you know. We are in this, you know. Um, it's not good, but it, it does mean that we'll be in heaven like a lot sooner, you know. 
because the Lord says in the Bible he will rapture his church, you know. Um, and so that's what we've got to hold on to because at the moment it's like the calm before the storm. It's quiet. It, everything's normal. I mean, look out your window. You see people going to work and having fun and people messing about and just, you know, everything's normal, you know. But a couple of years ago, uh, well, three, three and a half years ago it was, um, I wasn't even really a Christian at the time, but the Lord spoke to me even during those years because I was a Christian when I was younger, but I backslid and stuff. But he said to me, um, there will be a day that's coming where everything will be ripped out from underneath you. Your whole life will change in, in a single day. Everything will be taken out from underneath you. Now, I knew when he said that to me, it wasn't a punishment. I wasn't going to die. I just, I understood it like, you know, there's a day coming where everything's going to change for us all, you know. Um, and that's not good. So, oh, and there was another thing um, the Lord said uh, through my mum to me. Um, in the end, if I'm not close to God... I will not, um, what was it, uh, he said something like, hang on, sorry, I've forgotten it, um, if I'm not close to God in the end, I will not, um, I will not cope, that's it, mum said to me years ago, but my mum passed away from ovarian cancer a few years ago, but I remember, uh, she was a firm believer at the end, and she knew it was coming and all the rest of it, but she said to me, uh, that the Lord told her to say to me, because I was living as a backslidden Christian then, uh, if I was not close to God in the end, I would not cope. No, do you know what I mean? And th and that's a scary message, and that really put fear into me. Then, I also remember my mum saying that the Lord told her when the when the blood moon when the moon turns red, you know, to be ready. Um, when the moon turns blood red, be be ready. And you know, I remember she really banged that into me very seriously. Like you know, well, guess what? The moon was uh, twice last year, blood red, and twice the year before, 2014, blood red. You know, it's like oh. I look, I look at it and I see it and I know it's happened and it's like, oh my goodness, you know, what's coming? And again, 2016, the year of judgment. So, what is this message? Well, you know, last night I had this dream, you know, uh, basically don't get too comfortable, you know, be ready, you know, um, th that we really are in the end times. And here was me planning how I'm going to progress and climb the ladder in this job, you know, and I get this dream and suddenly today I'm like, I, I, I sense the urgency of it again, I feel the urgency, this this stuff is really coming, man, uh, you know, the Bible doesn't lie, you know, and the other thing that really gets me about this is, you know, I've gone to some Christians, if you, you go to some Christians and bring up the end times, they will literally rip your head off, you know, and it's like, why, what is, what is wrong with you, mate, you know, the Bible's told us for thousands of years this stuff's coming, why, why is it you rip, you rip someone's head off when you mention it, I mean, there was this person recently, I'm not going to mention his name, but, he basically said, anybody who says we're in the end days or the end days are upon us is an outright fool. Can you believe that? I mean, this guy preaches in churches, man. He preaches in churches. Anybody, you know, he's reading from the same word as me. He's reading from the same Bible as me. Yet he preaches the Lord's word in churches and says, anybody who says the end days are upon us is an outright fool. <laughs> what? Do you know what I mean? Can you, can you believe this, you know? So even Christians, you know, for, we've been told by God for thousands of years that this stuff's coming. Um... And they're just completely delusional to it, I suppose, because their lives are comfortable, like, you know? And again, I guess that's the message here. Don't get too comfortable. Well, well, you can get comfortable, but be ready, you know? Make sure your spiritual house, your spiritual life is completely in order. Um, make sure you stay close to the Lord, Jesus, and keep your eyes upon him, man, because this stuff's coming. And, um, you know, get your friends and your family... Tell as many people about Jesus as possible. And if you don't know Jesus, then now's the time to seek him, like, you know. Or if you know him, but you're playing around in sin, stop it. Stop it now. You know, we're running out of time. You know, or we've run out of time, you know. Uh, don't, you know, if, well, if you're not a Christian, seek Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life, you know. He is the only way into heaven, you know. Um, but if you're, you know, if you are a Christian, then, um, you know, hold on to Jesus, like, you know, and so, like, last year, I believe, like, in 2015, like, I think I said it earlier on in this mess in this video, but, you know, I felt the Lord say to me, stop power, food, and water, and, like, my own wife doesn't, doesn't believe, you know, it, it's, uh, it's terrible, man, you know, but anyway, um, so, whoever you are watching this right now, you know, the Hebrew calendar says the year 2016 is the year of judgment, and, um, you know, the blood moons have happened, the signs have been given, 
you know, nobody can deny the blood moon. I mean, everybody's seen it. Everyone knows that happens, you know. And if you don't, check it out. Look on YouTube. Type it in, like, you know. Um, these times are, are upon us. I mean, yes, the Bible says carry on as normal. Yes, do carry on as normal. But at the same time, make sure you're ready. And I, I would recommend, I would strongly recommend that you do stockpile food and water. Or you, you pray and uh, seek the Lord's counsel and ask him where he wants you to go. He may, he may, may want you to move out of a certain location. Uh, you know, if you're in America or near London in the UK, um, pray and seek the Lord's counsel because or wherever you are, because you, the Lord may want you to move location. If I was you, I'd do that now. Um, you know, because I think things are really going to happen. I don't know when, and I'm not saying anything will happen this year, but there are a lot of signs indicating and pointing at there will be stuff happening. So seek the Lord's counsel. Um, and if you believe you're in a safe enough location, and stockpile food and water, I um, I also remember my mum saying after prayer that she said, in the end days, keep well away from the coastlines, uh, that the sea will be uh, our enemy, a body of water. She she said something like, if there was a big body of water, keep well away from it. You know, the sea is uh, is it's not going to be safe near water. The sea, you know, so uh, try and keep away from the coastlines or get up as high as you possibly can. Uh, it's not good. It's really not good, you know. So, what's the message here, though? Keep keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't get too comfortable. Be ready. Obviously, carry on with your life as normal, but seek the Lord's counsel at every step. Seek Him at every direction, every plan that you're gonna make. Seek the Lord Jesus, like you know. Um, you know, and He says in the Bible that He will rapture us. That it's not the end for Christian people. That we can, you know that he's going to take his people from this earth and, and take us to heaven, you know. Uh, those who love him and hold fast to his testimony and live upright and holy, you know. Um, so live upright and holy. <clears throat> Keep seeking Jesus and he is the way. And remember the Egyptians in the desert, you know, they travelled around for 40 years and uh, they had no food and water, yet the Lord gave them manna from heaven, you know, and gave them water. So I'm sure that when this stuff really does kick off, us Christians will have um, supernatural divine food and water from our Lord, man. You know, so like this is kind of like the calm before the storm at the moment. If you look out the window, everything's all normal. Everyone's walking around, eating, drinking, marrying, all the rest of the Bible says that right into the end. Like, you know, exactly the same with Noah, man. People were taking the mick out of Noah, laughing at him, shouting at him, spitting at him, mocking him, saying, why the hell are you building a huge boat in the middle of a desert? There's no water here. And, and it says in the time of Noah that they were giving, eating, drinking, marrying, until the flood came and wiped them all away, like, you know. And it says it will be the same in the end as of the same as, as of Noah, you know. Right now, people are eating, drinking, marrying, giving, you know. You know what I mean? And um, until the end, you know. So, come on, guys. Christian people here, I'm calling upon you. Get ready, you know. Get, make sure you're ready, you know. Because the Lord says he will come like a thief in the night, you know. You don't know what hour, hour the thief will come along. So you keep your house ready, like, you know. Um, so make sure you're spiritually ready. Keep your eyes on Jesus and seek his counsel at every possible moment uh, that you've got. And uh, he loves you. He loves you very, very much, you know. And he will guide and direct your paths. So really, like yesterday, as I was saying, I was getting a bit too comfortable. But uh, got to remember the urgency here, urgency here and be ready. Um, you know, these things are coming. Okay. God bless you guys. Take care.